Santos Dumont, first flyer of the old world in his famous 14 beast. There was Voisin too, his early seaplane glider braving the hazards of the Seine. It was this that led the way to a successful powered biplane. Santos Dumont again in 1908, exploring the monoplane with his demoiselle. In 1911, the aeroplane first showed what it could do as a means of transport. The Coronation Aerial Post from Hendon to Windsor. Hamill flew the first. And the mail got through. Then the airman's map was broadening out to international contests, like the Circuit of Europe. With flyers like Manton, Gordon Bell, Beaumont, and Robert Lorraine taking part. This is Hux adjusting his map. The monoplane men were in the lead, often flying Blériot aircraft. And as the war years lengthened out, John Port's flying boats came down the ways at Felixstowe. Big seagoing machines whose descendants were to give Britain a great period of dominance in civil aviation later on. For a decade, Count Zeppelin had been developing the rigid airship. London was to grow familiar with his name. He was among the first to show that in a fighting world, there could be no more civilians. 